All right, guys, welcome back. My name is Steve with LRM. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to do a regen on your truck. I know I've done a few of them so far on the Olders, Midways. Now we're talking about a 2018 to 2020 Freightliner Cascadia, what you're gonna to have to control through your steering wheel. And I'm gonna show you on the dash of where we need to go. It's very simple. The technology has definitely come a little bit more. And then of course, the newer ones, I'm pretty sure it's even gotten even better. Before we get hop right into this, right? Uh, guys, don't forget to pound the like button when you like or love a video. Also, if you have any questions, concerns, don't forget to leave a comment at the bottom. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. We're here to save you some money. So Freightliner Cascadia, this one right now is a 2020 Freightliner, right? And I'm gonna show you how to access to do the regen on the truck. So you're gonna be using the left side of your steering wheel for the toggling. And I'm gonna show you on the dash, right? This is what it typically looks like on your dash. You'll see your mileage and you'll see like all these little tabs on top, the house, steering wheel, a truck, a wrench, a music, and then a setting. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to the truck. So when you go to the truck, you'll see on the left side, see where it's blue. And then you see a few more like white dashes well you could toggle through them right so they have different options for you so what we're going to do is see where it says diesel particulate filter soot level so this one's pretty good as you can see you know you want it as far as over as possible to the left that means it doesn't need a regen if it's halfway or towards it then you need to do a park regen and then of course the truck will also indicate it with a little light on the dash but let's just say that you wanted to do a regen as you can see i have it on the tab and right below it says to start regen, press okay. And again, and there it goes. You can start by pressing okay and the truck will ramp up. And remember doing a regen on the truck is anywhere anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. When you do that, make sure you're in a safe area. Make sure you're not near leaves that are look like they're dead and it's gonna catch fire. So just make sure you're on a nice leveled surface where there's no debris to catch on fire because that exhaust system will get up to a thousand degrees and you don't need a fire to happen underneath your truck. And then also try not to bump the parking brake, step on the accelerator or the parking, you know, any of that stuff, because it will kick it out of regen and you would have to restart all over again. So just keep that in mind when you need to do a regen on your truck. All right, guys. So as you can see, it was very easy to do a regen on your truck. Remember on the left side of the steering wheel is where you're gonna use it to do the toggling and everything, just pay attention onto the dash. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So if you guys like what you saw today, don't forget to pound that like button. If you have any questions or concerns of what you saw, leave a comment at the bottom. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'm here to save you some money.